it's Monday morning. Bateman's on the way. Gonna unload this Merlot now. Get it, get it to work. Got some trailers to shunt around with it, and they're coming to treat the seed, the, the wheat for seed. So it's basically what we'll sow at this next year. The Bateman has already been spotted in Nutsford, so it's not too far away. Nice and shiny. Nice big stack of wheels as well. Everyone's got a video of it coming in the gate. Gotta lift the wheels off some on the mini Merlot. No feeling it again.
the old one's loaded up now and it's off to pastures new. Well, it's not, it's going to Central Crops Braes. It's gone 5,000 hours if anyone is interested. Les is going to go through it and get it all ready for someone else. Just set the track width now. A little bit more. So it's uh, the right width for, the, for what we want the tram lines to be for the tractors. It's got a switch in the cab and it's just putting the axles out. This is a trailer that we caught on Saturday that's full of seed corn and then we're just loading this trailer now with a different variety so when that's done we'll clean it out and then back the fast track up to there and then start cleaning the other variety and then we've got some wheat that we can start drilling hopefully at the end of the week is the plan. Off it goes. I think seven years nearly I used it for. Many a happier hour. We are now live in the new Bateman, spraying some volunteer barley off in some oilseed rape. We've got the GPS steering, so I don't have to. So if you press that pedal, that goes out of the way. It's working great, but it's a kind of the old GPS in here. In the other one was T-Jet, and this is Ag Leader. So it's a little bit like the difference between Apple and Windows. So it took a little bit of getting used to, and my head's fried from taking it all in. Because not only are some of the switches in here different, it's got cruise control, it's got field mode, road mode, gears but to be further automatic reversing cams in a different place the speedos in a different place lots of things are in different places so i've had to get my head around the machine then i've also had to get my head around the gps because all the functions of the sprayer are controlled on the gps screen so i spent a good few hours this morning with bateman anyway got my head around it all i did think about recording some of the bits so that i could remember when i'm doing it but i realized there was that much to take in i'd have just had like an hour's worth of maybe two hours worth of filming, which I'd have never been able to troll through. Anyway, I've got the numbers for the people that I need to know if I get unstuck. I've once did left, I filled up with chemical. I've come out and doing a field by the yard because to, to be fair, the vehicle isn't registered for the road till midnight tonight. So I can only do the fields that I've not got to go down the road onto. Just turn it off there at the end now. So I'm just gonna now override the GPS with the steering wheel. Uh, the, the joystick takes a little bit of getting used to. So the old joystick controlled the speed wherever you left the joystick was how fast it went. And then you had to do the revs yourself, this completely automatic. You basically push the joystick and it starts to accelerate, pull it back and it slows down. Or leave it neutral and it stays where you pushed it to. And the revs follow, so totally different to drive. Drives more like the fence, but you just gotta get used to the resistance of the joystick, which is a bit, different to the combine that I've now spent the last sort of six or eight weeks driving. So it is taking some getting used to, so I'm just watching me line up here so that I turn into the right place. Once I turn to the right place, I can press that pedal, get the bleep, the GPS now will take over. I then turn my jets on, so the jets start coming on now. And off we go along the field, and it should go in a straight line, which means better video content. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, everyone that's watching because literally this machine is going to be paid for by YouTube. So the finance on it's £2,600 a month, which is a lot of money. But obviously I had a decent deposit in my old machine and YouTube looks like it will pay me around that for August. So the first payment will go out in September. So hopefully it'll be matching. 
The only problem is I've now got six years to keep up videos for. Otherwise, the farm's got to pay for the sprayer. Now, we haven't had too bad a year so far, but it's a long time to go before next harvest. Anything can happen. We've not got any next harvest sown yet other than some oilseed rape. We don't know what prices are going to do because we've only sold maybe 20%, maybe 30% of this year's harvest. And yeah, the farm should be able to buy the machine on its own. But the whole thing here is YouTube is actually paying for it. So YouTube now is a diversification for this farm. And as long as people keep watching, keep finding it interesting, I may as well carry on because lots of people learn about farming because I know there's a lot of farmers that watch. I think that's probably out of nosiness, maybe, I don't know, or because this farm's arable and they may be dairy or whichever, I, I don't know. But there's also a lot of non-farmers watching that are learning that one, crop sprays are important, two, so fungicides, herbicides and pesticides. So, you know, that's the thing really, educating people of what goes on on a farm and every day for that matter. We'll have a proper look round it another day because I've got to get on today and there's probably enough content with it arriving and different things like that. One thing you may have noticed, it has in fact got black wheels, but the hubs are red. Do the hubs need painting black to make it fully match? The reason the wheels are black is, well, a couple of things. They do look, I wanted it to be a bit different being as how it's getting paid for in a different way. But also, white wheels on a sprayer, they go yellow over time because a lot of the chemicals we use, like the pendomethylin, they stain the wheels yellow and you can never get them clean again. Which hopefully with the black ones you won't see that. So what do people think about the hubs? Should I leave it like a reverse poppy the way it is now or should we paint them black to match the, the rims? So that's today's quiz question. Just finishing off and it's gone dark. If you turn that off, you can see the, all the jets working there. You can see the feel there, what I've got left to do on it. But you can see if any nozzles are blocked because of the blue lights. Thanks to everyone at Bateman that's like built it, made it, it's bang on. I'm also getting it to me now. I know it's a little bit late, but it wasn't really because I only ordered it in March. And so far, so good. It's brilliant. Thank you. That's all we got time for today. Thank you everyone that's watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Don't forget if you're new subscribers, say where you're watching from. And again, thank you so much for basically you watching this is paying for this sprayer. So if you want to watch another video, it's over there. If you want to subscribe, it's over here. Thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.